I'm gonna bend their food. Oh, you wanna bend their food? Send so them out that food. Um, but so just to end that, we'll just end the fuck, bro. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all got shit. Yeah. It's from the DL episode. I know. Pause. It is. I know. Tell the people, pause. Bro. You were on the other side of the table. I know. So you would have something out of Nah. Okay. My bad. Adam. Um, please. Yeah, that's gay. Yeah. Um, okay, but so. Even the gay guy thought that. Go ahead. Now this is officially the second moment that DW Flame was ready to walk away from the No Jumper live stream. First off, the fact that Adam and Brick Baby are having some semi-coded conversation to give an excuse on why Brick Baby didn't get to watch the J. Cole apology is pointless if they already let us know that they were trying to come down off the high they had from their most recent party. By the way, this is the same party that DW Flame did not want to go to, causing Adam to say that he had bad girls club energy. But the obvious highlight was when Adam and Brick Baby started to discuss the idea of Brick Baby sitting on Adam's lap. Knowing how sensitive the gang culture is, especially after witnessing Brick Baby go through a lot over one single word, Adam is certainly testing his boundaries. This reminds me of when he walked in on the live stream No Jumper News in front of all men with a thong exposed, then pulling off an April Fool's joke and telling the world that he's coming out of the closet despite the fact that for years the world has already been saying this. Regardless, Brick Baby actually answers calmly and interacts with Adam about why Brick Baby should be the one who has to sit on Adam's lap. The only time that Brick really started to show some pushback is when DW Flame gets uncomfortable and lets them know that he thinks that he should just go. Once again, it is funny to see how reckless Adam can get but it's sad to see how much they seem to care about the No Jumper brand and how little Adam seems to care about their personal brands. The third official strike, once again was when Adam claimed that DW Flame had bad girls club energy, and DW calmly got up and left the building. It was a mystery on if DW Flame was going to come back to No Jumper, but now it's time to break down the immediate aftermath of DW Flame walking away from the livestream. Let's check out what happens when DW Flame makes his first surprise appearance on No Jumper. <laughs> 